So now that we have the main.js file, what we need to do is that we need to make references to these items. And what I mean by these items, the first, the container, the send button, and the input. Because these are the most important three things. We need to get the message, and we need to send the message, and we need to display the message. And in order to accomplish that, we need references to these elements. So I'm going to go to the main.js, and inside it, I'm going to start by creating these references. Or I'm going to add here a comment, elements. And then, first I'm going to make var, and then send button equals to document dot get element by id and the id of that element remember the id of the send button was let's go back and check it was send button and i like to keep every, everything consistent so for example here the class is called send btn with a capital b with a camel case here and the name of the variable is send btn so make, sh make sure that everything is consistent so that you, then, you don't get er errors and avoid as many errors as you can. This is the first element. The second element is the input. The input had an idea of text box. So here we can say var text box equals to document dot get element by id and then inside it text box. And finally we need a reference to the container. The container, not the main container, but the container for messages. And the container for messages was this one. Was this one. This dev. And it has an ID of container. In, no, in order to avoid errors, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to name it chat container with capital C here instead of just container because we already have, because we already have a class in bootstrap called container and we need to avoid that I'm gonna just name it chat container and I'm gonna go back to the main.js and I'm gonna create this chat container document dot get element by ID and again chat container and now we have reference to all of these elements